But how will I get the desired WAV files? We have the following options. Buying samples. There are many different sample libraries on the internet. Here you can find pretty much anything. Record your own samples or create samples of purchased software instruments. I will now show you how to do that in detail. First off, a couple of infos. With the two-box sound editor, you can convert any WAV file into a two-box sound file. With this capability, we can use just one sample or more than one sound sample. The advantage in using more than one sample and stacking them into layers is the dynamic and authenticity of the final sound. The more samples you combine, the more dynamic layers you can use in order to have a clear and crisp sound of a drum, which makes it sound more authentic and real. As basic for a two-box sound file, a DSD file, you can use any sample. For example, an acoustic drum or electronic sound effects. Even loops, song phrases or any other sound can be converted into a two-box sound file and used on your own set. To make it short and simple, any WAV file can be played on the two-box if you use the editor to convert it into a DSD format. Important! If you work with individual layers, they must not be normalized, but rather be set in the according dynamic range, which means different decibel values would have to exist. Therefore, we have to record the drum set first, just like a normal recording. Each drum, in this case the snare, has to be recorded in a DAW, here Studio One, on a separate audio track. It is important that the snare is played with increasing volume from beat to beat. Now we can divide the recorded snare clip with the transit recognition tool and the slice function of the door into separate clips of each beat. By simply drag and drop these clips to the browser, they can be exported into a corresponding folder as separate audio WAV files. Done. Now we can easily create a new multilayer two box sound from these samples by just dragging them to the sound editor. The results are amazing. The newly created sound not only sounds as the original, but can even be played like it. Sampling sounds from a software instrument. For this variant, we need a software instrument with a corresponding drum program. Here, the drum sampler Impact from Studio One. Each cell stands for a drum and can each be played through a MIDI node. Now we want to create the kick drum, of course in different dynamic levels. Therefore, we generate several MIDI nodes with the scanning velocities for the node C1. Now we place a marker on each node, so later we can generate its own audio file for each node. The good part about this is, once we apply these chapter markers, it's fairly easy to export more instruments. Therefore, we only need to change the pitch of the MIDI nodes and then quickly sample the new instrument. To export the samples, click on Song, Stems Export, choose between each marker, and the area between each chapter marker is exported as separate WAV files. We can convert our self-made drum samples and wave format into a two-box sound with several dynamic steps and save it on the module. If the two-box sound created, we can assign it by drag and drop in the kit editor to a channel and thus change the kit according to our expectations. Now save the user kit bank and restart the module. And now we can play our own multi-layer sounds in live mode. Enjoy trying it on your own!